Hi there, folks. Welcome to, I'll call it episode four. We are starting out with uh, what should be a battle of master, uh, I don't know, procrastinator is a bit too hard. What, whatever the word is, uh, good generals in their own right. But we're actually going to go ahead and fight that. And uh, though it's poor form, I'll, I'll really begin with an apology. This is not <laughs> Campaign 12. Well, it's not the same Campaign 12. If you watch the first three episodes uh, that I did. Uh, the reason why it's not the same is because as I was doing the Episode 4 that will now never air, it became clear to me that by March or April, the Union's national morale had tanked so quickly over that winter by not being able to kind of launch invasions into the, the Confederacy that it was pretty much over. They were down more than 10 points of morale and supply. And that's just going off in the early 62. I was kind of stuck in this loop of just really high national morale and support. And the campaign wasn't going to be close. I mean, that's the the kind of end of that story. And so I could have dragged it out and uh, it would have been unenjoyable for everyone because e even if cool stuff happened, we'd be like, well, you know, the AI is down by 20 points. So they're, they're not going to come back. Or I could start a new campaign uh, and then rush through it and not air that and then show you guys the results. So this is picking up, though. The, the old episode ended basically end of October of 61. This is the end of October of 61. And this time it is much closer. Now, if I played this smart, I would probably deploy here, right? If we're going to try to hold this. Also, I remember this from a battle in campaign... Na, 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 what was it? 11. I remember this, and this can be a pretty strong point. I like that. Uh, my goodness here. Scouts, all right, scouts are going to go up and out. We can role play that order delays are still on. Uh, I'm, I'm liking the line formation. Maybe not the artillery placement there, but... Uh, Eh, maybe over there. Nope. I don't. Eh, it's only two trees, right? They sh they should be able to see it through it. And I'm gonna do this over here. It ain't perfect, but we'll try to make that work. We have a slight numerical advantage against McClellan. And uh, let's see if we can find. They think they're up there. So how would they come in? Now they could come over here. They come over here. I guess this is the more direct threat. So I'll take a look that way. I may well end up pausing you until something else shows up. But I wanted to make sure that I had a chance to finish my Mia Culpa on the, the campaign. It's too bad. I really like those battles. I actually did just fight a manual battle. It would be mid-October of this campaign. It was, it was great. It was absolutely great. It was uh, pretty much all infantry. I got on really well by just ordering division movements and rather than, than putting them in attack stances, and I did it all in single line. The AI, it did a pretty good job. It, it acted too late, but I went around its flank. It, it deployed too far forward of its point, so if it was like holding this point, it deployed like up here. All right, so we found them. That's, that's good. That yeah, will bring us back. And I moved around them, as my cursor is trying to show you, and they barely realized in time, redeployed on the victory point, so I couldn't just flank and take it and, and then put myself on defensive. And the only mistake was that when they deployed, this was a giant, giant hill. <laughs> and so I got one division there with my artillery, three brigades, and just shot them. What they should have done, and I don't know how they would have done this, is well, I do know how they would have done this, is to do some scouting. Like They should be able to see as much of the map as I do. Know that the other division was completely exhausted and stuck in the woods and launched an attack against the one cav brigade and that division that was up there, defeated that piecemeal, because the numbers were 50-50 or so on that map. And really, what it, it turned out to be a massacre. Like, surprise, like 2,000 to 200. Because, I think it's because of the weapons... I think, and you see, see, I didn't have anything mind-blowing, but I just 
I had good weapons. I haven't gone... I don't think I've gone over to the Union side yet in this kind of making up campaign to fix some of their weapons purchases and their OBs. Maybe, maybe I did once. I Maybe I did it very early on in the campaign just to make sure they were doing it. But anyways, that's that. Uh, do I like... I like where this division is. Kind of, but not really. I'd like them all, yeah, a bit further up and in cover. Let's see if I can finagle this to get them all. Nah, somebody's going to be out of cover. That's fine. All right. But that's that. And maybe now we can fast forward. And I'll bring it back into some shape. So we can see where they are. I don't know about some of these moves. They, they should be staying on the roads. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not too sure about that. But eh, maybe they're just fanning out into to line. Now, if I'm reading Slocum correctly, there's something wrong. There's <laughs> something very wrong with that brigade. It looks like it's about to crack and break. Just by reading what this is. Yeah, I, yeah I'm not surprised we, we don't have much in the way of morale. I think we're sitting on a two or three pointer. It's nothing nothing at all to get excited about. I think we're going to draw... Where do we want to draw Cooper back? We'll draw him back through the woods. Yeah, retreat is fine. We don't need the scouts out. They've done what they needed to do. They found them. I don't know if I've lured them in. They, they were probably coming this way anyways. We can put that away. But yeah, we had a distinctive morale advantage. Okay, volume is up. Still wish these guys had found some cover. Oh, what do they got? Oh, because they're just barely touching the fence. <laughs> because I think that sprite is touching the fence. The whole unit gets it. All right. Cool. Cool, man. Yeah, Rosecrans and Slocum do not look uh, not look good. For role-playing reasons, we'll move Johnston back. Where the heck? Oh, there's Stuart. Get him down. We'll get him out. And now we'll zoom in because, you know, thank you, 3D. 3D sprite, 3D model. Uh, Steam mod. That thing is great. These look great. These guys are not facing the correct direction, but but I digress. We'll, we'll say that they're standing ready to support the cab if the cab get full pressed. So my wish is that the AI here would just wait for those reinforcements. We can see them off in the distance. Woo! It looks so good. That's non-sarcastic. That I I think it. It looks it looks good. Huh. Alright, we can speed it up. I don't know what they're doing. Yeah, taking cover would be good. Anything except what they're doing, which is running around kind of ostensibly to nowhere. They're really not close enough. I mean they ought to be closer. Here, we'll we'll bring Cooper back here. Bring Stuart back with him. And that will allow Jackson to maybe have some utility. B Jr. Colonel Barnard Elliot B Jr. <laughs> it's, it's a mouthful. Uh actually, is it is it the cover or is it the Oh it's fence, alright, yeah, it does it does tell you. That might be our our thumbnail right there. There's not quite enough union, but you know, sometimes you can hide it in the thumbnail. Maybe we'll take it from Colonel Barnard Elliot B. Jr. We have the high ground. According to the Star Wars, that's everything I need. All right. I should probably have mounted 
those guys up and then move them. That's, it's generally best to move them like any sort of distance mounted, as long as it's not in rifle range, but oh well. Yeah, I think throwing away Rosecrans and Slocum before the, the rest of the party arrives pretty much dooms McClellan's attack, and McClellan has to attack, and he's been accurately informed that I have no fewer than 200,000 troops defending this, but I think he's still going to... Are these parrots or three-inch? Ah, oh, they're Mississippis! Oh, okay, <laughs> they're three-inch, okay. Let's go see how Pelham does. Oh, come on, do the animations. Come on! That's disappointing. Maybe they can't see anything. Or, or that's what they've told themselves. Oh, there you go! <laughs> All you had to do was just turn it a little bit and boom! <laughs> uh, okay. I don't know why I thought that was so funny, but... Eh, sanity works in strange ways. And what is Pendleton chugging along with? No, uh, there's a mistake somewhere. I blame whoever's in charge of this mess. There should be a smoothbore battery and a rifled battery. Since we can't mix the guns within a battery, which, by the way, when does that happen? But it's, it's okay. It's okay that we don't. And these guys have, in the greatest of Union and Civil War traditions, disappeared <laughs> in a glade. <laughs> a glade with one tree. Uh. <laughs> uh. Yeah. All right. I, I take back what I said about Slocum and and Rosecrans. I don't think they got routed. Now Rosecrans is still here. Slocum is here. I now fault the rest of their division for not pushing up. Morris. It, it looks like it's the little brigade that could. Certainly, that's how they see themselves. They, they also look under strength on the uh, the map. Maybe this is the better thumbnail. It is a nice October day in West Virginia. So we'll see how they do. The only thing I'm supposed to micro by my own kind of house rules is the cav. As you saw with the artillery, sometimes I'll, I'll give things a flick, but I'll try to keep it there. I can't tell where they're trying to develop this. I just think that this is this has the potential to go horrendously. Of course, these guys aren't going to step up and, and help. So it's, it is just going to be Evans without Crittenden, unless they'll probably come up into Crittenden's view. Why does Crittenden look like he's on the wrong side? Anyways, they got Fayetteville's. They got some decent range, but I thought I gave Evans Mississippi's. Alright, so Union guns are now opening up on Evans. I'm not sure these guys are going to have an angle here. Eh... Uh-oh. Somebody is bugged out by that water. I'm not sure what they're doing here. I, I can't say I've seen this one before. Well, I guess we're in a melee. Oh, there is a fence that extends this way. Okay, that's that's not so bad then. I did not see that. 
think that's Rosecrans that's stuck in the water. It did kind of pull something off here. In that, well, Crittenden kind of matters, but Smith, Bartow don't really matter where they are. But we'll leave, we'll leave them as is. Once Rosecrans breaks, we'll probably move Frost. Maybe behind Floyd, ready to move to either the right or the left. Wish these guys would angle a little bit better. But I, I think it's because they're not set in maybe attack or defense stance, whatever they're supposed to be in. But now it looks like we have most of a division that's going to push Cooper with Jackson kind of in support. Not sure why we came out of loose formation, but we did. I don't know what these guys are up to. My goodness, Pelham, it's so sad. Wonder... Alright, they're not as close to breaking as I thought they might be after that. All right, they're all done. So, what I think I'm gonna do now, I should detach, yeah, detach the artillery. Should have done this earlier. These are good things to do in junk time. All right, now Slocum, who I uh, had some issue with earlier, is doing pretty well, but he's gotta chase cavalry moving backwards. And at an angle that kind of loses any sort of support over here, and Jackson's over here as well. So now his support is going to have to come. It's going to have to swing further from the outside. All right. Hoping that that is enough. Uh, ba 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 ba. All right. I'll give them attack orders for there, and I'm going to give Frost attack orders like that. And we'll see how they do it. My goodness, we got to get that cav behind, behind the troopers. Now we can get on board with Pelham. Kind of like War of Rights when the Q-tips used to go through the barrels. Maybe they still do. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> it's such a funny little grab. Like, boop. Almost looks like he's shooting threes on NBA 2K. Uh, come on, dude. It'll go there. Yeah, you guys are on a better line to intercept Sherman. I don't know if these guys are gonna stop and figure it out. I, I, I'm not sure how they, they react like this. We might just end up clipping them and ending up in a melee. But they definitely have a good angle to shoot us. Alright. More poor planning on my part. What's new? But since I think that this is the faster way to move, we'll move like that. 
at the double. Yeah. Well, sorry, B Junior, it's out of my hands. You can blame Evans or someone else if you'd like. Though it does have the effect of uh, pushing them off. And you're now definitely giving Pelham clear shots. You no longer have the enfilade fire, and it doesn't matter. <laughs> None of that actually matters. We can't see how that plays out. That's it. Well, actually, no, we will see how it plays out. All right, you're still going to have a fight here. Poor B Jr. Well, it may be the case that right, I can't move them all. Or I can't move them individually, but I can move them all. Right? The, uh, Crittenden's coming up. He's getting shots on Sherman. Paying him back a bit of what he gave to B. Beautiful arcing shot with the artillery. We're going to have a traffic jam here. Because I'm never really interested in running up the score on the AI in junk time. We're just going to run like this. If their artillery just stands there like idiots, like they are, and they get shot, well, you know, you know. Yikes. So that, that was a bad one for the AI, as you can see in terms of casualties. All right, victory at Gafton, 238. Only 28 killed on their side. 163 killed on ours. Huh. <laughs> okay. But anyways, that was going on up here. Now, the AI, to its credit, has been doing some... Whoa, what are we doing? Fort Henry, Fort Wheeling. The AI was raiding, might still be raiding, somewhere down and around here. I haven't had an, a raid... I don't think Union or Confederate in a long time. And so I sent Beauregard and uh, the other guy, you know. Yeah, Magruder, over to try to deal with that. Uh, Johnson was supposed to come over and help at Winchester, but they were down here trying to find the Raider because that's where I was told they were. As it turns out, they, they, they were not there. 12,000. Uh, let's see how we do. Let's get to here. Come on, get on that train. Let's we'll see what they can do from there. Maybe relieve. Maybe relieve that siege. I don't know. But projects. I don't think there's any surprises here. I've been going for civil order. Checking. Well, we'll we'll get a new report. But yeah, they didn't recruit anybody new. They have 170,000. We have 120,000. I think we actually have a few more coming down the, the pike, but uh, they haven't yet actually joined. So you see that our average is uh, 98 and 80. It would be about 93. Theirs is 91, the way the convergence works. We'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Uh, they've been launching a number of attacks out around Corinth. You can see now that they have this push going on the forts up here. So we'll we'll see how that's resolved. But I think the, the center theater is, is pretty rough. In the west, it's been quiet. Yeah, so you can see Price is waiting on, looks like a couple of brigades to join him. This move into West Virginia is very recent. The heck? No, 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 no. You push them out. We ain't falling back. Oh, it's paused. That's why. I swear I've played this game before. No. Wait. Why am I retreating? I don't know what happened. The only thing I think of is that there was some bug. But usually that's only when you load back in. Alright, so over here I saw it. Somebody's in a conflict. I am not. I'm not raiding. I have no idea what that's about. I wasn't raiding. They were raiding, and I thought I intercepted them. And now I have a disaster at Wheeling. <laughs> what is going on in this campaign? Uh, it really was running smoothly until I decided to record it. And then all this broke loose. All right. Let's see if we can 
manage ourselves. So we really shouldn't be able to do this, right? This is like a huge intelligence gift. Oh, they think that some of my armies or their armies? I did I did know that there was this fourth core. I think it actually moved over to here at one point before moving on. Here, why don't you go up there and see if you can join them. I don't know. I really should have looked at their numbers. <laughs> Yet I didn't. Uh, <laughs> nope. We're not going to win that. So... Go ahead and withdraw. Uh, here, let's burn this before they get it. It was theirs to begin with, so why not? Uh, Johnston, yeah, you're going to have to go over here. Actually, you know what? This is very bad. <laughs> they have an army sitting right outside of Charleston. They have Wheeling, and they're about to get Grafton. Uh, ba 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 so he's got 10,000. Johnston has 18,000. That would give me 28,000 if Johnston can get get off his butt and get in there. So let's I uh, I'll, I'll gamble and I'll 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 try to play it and I'll just try to get Johnston to show up in time to do something. Uh-oh, Johnston's broke. He's stupid. All right, retreat. Yeah, so I'm not not really sure what's going on there. I think I already clicked retreat, but uh, I'll do it again because it was fun the first time, and nothing will happen that time. Interesting. So, this may be the first time, I think, ever that the AI actually rests West Virginia from me. Glory switch at Fort McHenry. Good, good. Oh, we do have that card to play. It leaves everything else completely open. Eh. Eh, right? Let's see what these guys can do. Between the two of them, they got the troops to, to do something. Um, Finances are actually good. Yeah. Our Navy is doing, doing stuff. Stuff that we want it to do. It's always... Nice. I think we just lifted, yeah, blockade of Texas. Looks like we're going to be clear probably to Cedar Keys. Is that right? That is looking like the case. So we'll steam on over to Cedar Keys. There is a second, the ships for a second squadron or flotilla, cotton clad armada. It's under construction, but it ain't, it ain't ready to go yet. All right, we're going to draw a poke back here. We're going to get Bragg back here. If you're wondering where the numbers are, eh, they're coming. But it's slow. All right, so we are in November. We can see if they recruit anybody else. Not really. 500 men and two brigades makes it seem like it's just already. So they're going for Confiscation Act. So that will be a support boost to us every 12 months, but it decreases their costs when they're operating in red territory. Huh. How big is the 4th Corps? 21,000, huh? It's fairly large. I have no idea what Johnston's doing. I don't know what that is. Yeah, I'll we'll put you on a train and put you on a train. Let's just see what happens. Funding two. So that was us. Uh, I, jeez. I can make a case for just about every policy right now. I think. I haven't even done Ag 1. I should do Ag 1. But yeah, I, I, I could use troops and uh, money. 
Who couldn't, right? Okay, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, Johnson can run. That's not a problem. Problem is that the East is entirely open. No, they did it! No way! Well, now I don't really care about that. I do not care about that. Uh, and we're just going to extricate ourselves. Nope. Like this, I guess. Well, we're going to try to. No promises. What a terrible way to end the 61 campaign season. Nah, just retreat from that. All right. I mean, we could try to pay them back by moving in Kentucky or Missouri, but I, I hate taking Missouri because then you got to defend it. And right, if this goes red, it's like in a blue horseshoe, and then you got to defend from from all angles. It doesn't really doesn't really help. Uh, and taking Kentucky is kind of just pushing Tennessee up a little bit. Yeah, there's a lot of blue on your borders, but Kentucky's harder to defend, I think, than than Tennessee is. What are you doing, man? Get back! Get back here. Yeah, that's fine. Retreat that way. I don't care, but retreat. Uh, over here, we're scouting. Scouting. What is the tail of the tape? I really got to get more men under arms here. And... Problem isn't Johnston. It's not like it's. It's. I mean, Garnett could easily use twenty thousand or ten thousand more. Uh, in the center, we're gonna need more forces. I think that's evident. So, where can we go? We can go to Alabama. Get some Alabamians. Sure. Uh, what else? I don't care. It's winter time. Uh, we do something like that. Fill this division up. Eh. And give you some artillery. Sure. All right, so that will be Bragg. Bragg is up to three stars. Um, now Georgia should go to the East. Kentucky, we can take. We can take from Kentucky. See if we can get anybody else here for the center. Mississippi, we could do. Might not be anybody else from the center. Oh, that's right, we could always call on Cuba. Oh, and we still have West Virginia. Oh, and we have Tennessee. You know, it's it's it is odd, right, that and I'm not complaining about the event, but I wonder if the Union's national support is gonna drop because they just took a state where they have little support. I think their support is supposed to try to make it to seventy five. And so mine should drop. So I might as well I might as well recruit everything I can from West Virginia now. And, but I'm not going to get them later. All right, we'll take them. And, yes, Tennessee. Tennessee, we always give the hats to, and some sort of brown. There we go. And a battery. Set them off right. I think West Virginia, no. It's 240, all right. We're gonna get everybody out of West Virginia we can. Spite tactics. <laughs> All right. 
that is the Union Passes Confiscation Act. That's old news. Huh. All right, out west. What can we do? We can give Cav its own command. All right, who can we pull from? Not Georgia, not Kansas, Louisiana, but we don't have enough people. Well, maybe the Westerners are going to have to make do with what little they have. Or we could take from Cuba, Nicaragua. That might be it. Twenty thousand, twenty thousand, yeah. Hmm. I don't think the solution is adding a whole lot more to the existing armies, because then there is a, a kind of slowdown effect. I think. See, the thing is, I don't really care about the armies. But I'll do one. Whatever. It's... Oh, and I, okay, there we go. You want in North Carolina, I guess. Sure. And we'll have Davidson lead it. And, oh my goodness. A word with your tailor. Alright, that'll be Georgia. And appropriately enough, North Carolina. we get like 10 more troops in Maryland, we get a cab unit. Eh, it's the Army of North Carolina, so... Sticking. There we go. And for a battery... I don't Uh, I don't want to take from South Carolina because we're going to get Louise's Indiana. All right. Take that. And we'll take some Cav. I guess it's going to be South Carolina Cav. And then we'll just have... Uh, a hodgepodge here of other folks. So we got Cuba, we got Nicaragua. And did we have enough for another infantry brigade? We do not. We don't even have enough for another cav brigade. That's okay. We'll just, uh, all right, Nicaragua, we'll just take, we'll just take some artillery from you. All right, that might help even some of the numbers. All right, so that'll be something to work on over the winter. I'm worried about Garnett. I think he might just shatter, disintegrate, that's the term. Right, that's still going on. I don't I don't know if we have ships ready for the Savannah Squadron. Not not even really close either. I mean we got some that are almost out of repair, but it's not, not gonna be enough to really start moving up the east coast. But if by the end of sixty one we clear most of the Gulf, that'll have to be good enough. We'll uh sulk about the loss of the uh, West Virginia, but honestly, it was a lot to defend. It's a, it's a lot to defend. It's hard to supply, and it's hard to just quickly get in and out. And it's not worth that much. I know every little bit helps when you're you're kind of outnumbered, but 
you know, if you don't have access to this railroad and you can't use it, it means you got to play very high over here. Then you got to come in on these crappy roads back here, and it's just, it's not enjoyable. Are these guys retreating? Are they freezing the game? I think they're freezing the game. All right, they were freezing the game. They're not anymore. Uh, yeah, so they're on retreat, so I don't know how they're going to move through there. And oh my goodness, what is going on? I don't know if I fixed that or not. Maybe. We're, we're, we're kind of moving. Uh, so these folks are out of supply. I don't know if moving them will help, but it might. I wonder where in North Carolina we built this other army. Probably the least convenient spot. Eh, close to it. Alright, no more Civ Order. I don't even know if I would go to Civ Order now. I mean, we are far behind. On national support. Well, that's, yeah, some hyperbole, but... If I'm not ahead, I feel like I'm far behind. And, yeah, if we only had troops out west that we could actually use to... I can't believe there's there's no one from the western states who could make this work. All right, so Tennessee could get Cav, but I'm not going to bring them out west. It's just so low. Texas. All right. Well, we do have I think quite a bit saved up in military subsidies. 11 million. Now, what, what are our costs? 260 million. So that means we could probably get at least two takes of recruitment offices. So it's 3.5 now. It might be like 4.5 the second take. And we wouldn't be too far away from a third take. That's not terrible. That isn't terrible, and I don't hate it. Uh, but it's November. I don't know what that has to do with anything, but I guess I'm thinking that we're going to get more troops over time. How's my credit rating? Triple B minus? Eh. Hmm. Hmm. Why don't we go ahead and do it? At least the first, because logistics reform is actually ridiculously expensive. How much is the second take? So it's actually five million. Woo! Did I buff how much it gives though? I can't. I, I can't even remember all the mods I've made, or apparently where to click. So it's plus 5% for variable recruits. All right. Well, over the long term, that should help. But it doesn't do too much right now. Uh, let me think. Price seems to be doing all right. Color isn't really an army. Bragg and, and Polk will be actual armies. The problem is that they will be... Pretty, pretty low on experienced units going into 62. I think weapons-wise, probably don't, yeah, we probably don't have that many because we just did the rounds not long before I brought you all onto this video. So 
Yeah, I mean, there's enough there for, like, a brigade or two. What are they doing? I'm thinking of attaching Johnston, Beauregard, and Magruder to the Army of North Carolina. And then actually just bringing Garnett maybe into Knoxville. And letting him worry about defending that. Which, at least now he has two other armies that are kind of committed. The, the one, right, so Tennessee, oh yeah, 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 I did. Tennessee, like, it's got all the railroads over here. And so east-west and then moving north-south over here is okay. Moving directly north-south. It, it just becomes a bit of the pits moving through here until you get to this rail line. And then you can move down. All right, we got to go get a new policy. I mean, Ag 2 is nice because of the volunteers. Conscription Act, though, is also very nice. If we don't mind the loss of morale. Revenue Act would help close the revenue gap. We got a lot of problems we need solving here. Um, bounties, what is this doing? Morale, sorry. Uh, Yeah. I think I'd be willing to risk 10% more volunteers for minus 5 morale. I mean, the morale's got to be pretty good, right? 96? Uh, Yeah. I guess for the next month, that'll be the, the course of action. Then I guess around the new year, we'll, we'll look for something else. Uh, what are you? You're doing, okay, you're doing that, you're doing that. I don't think... I'm going to take propaganda. Just while I can... Or while support is low. Right, because investing in propaganda is also kind of a buff to a lot of things, including recruitment. Alright. Maybe uh, maybe it's time to put you on pause? I don't know. The fourth Corps is running through my territory for reasons known only to it. Now, why it would want to do that. But we'll get a new intelligence report, some other stuff after that. What are they up to? The print notes went so... <sighs> I think I talked about thinking of removing that. And maybe only leaving it in the AI's possession as part of the emergency, uh, the emergency finance option. Because it's not, it's not that the 25 or 50 million a year hurts. It's that there is a national morale penalty to pay for it. And it's very close. Uh, yeah, it's basically 92 to 93. Uh, so maybe they, they could take it, but I don't know if they actually need the 50 million. Let's see, their surplus versus mine. I mean, financially, they're doing better than I am. <laughs> they're actually just about break even. Uh, yet somehow their credit rating is lower. I don't know what that's about. All right, Garnett is in Lynchburg. If I had troops, I would just give him troops while he's already in the red. But I don't think those numbers exist. All right, Magruder is going to be set to scout. My goodness, Johnson, even with some supplies, he's dead in the water, man. Uh, 33,000, but... Pretty much. Well, Tennessee. Well, Gar Garnett is going to the mid. New Mexico could give Cav. Yeah, we'll, we'll just wait. Oh, we're having this naval engagement. And we won. Okay. 
Okay, we're gonna send ourselves to port. We're gonna put back. We don't want the uh, the Hancock there. We're gonna go to port and repair. I think even before that, that we're gonna get rid of the Brag and the Beauregard. Get out the Moor and the Van Dorn. Oh my! I thought I got rid of the Beauregard. What? Just won't go away. All right, we'll take the level. All right, so they're gonna they're gonna do their thing. And by look by sixty two, it looks like we've cleared up much of the Gulf. It's gonna take that fleet a while to now chug around Florida, and probably about that time, the Savannah Squadron will be getting its cotton clads, and they're gonna try to two v one the Atlantic blockading squadron down in Charleston and gradually push up the coast from there. So that is a plan. I've not been this, I, I've not had a Union campaign run this close. And, and there isn't really like one thing I can point to why the Union is doing like smart things like coordinating their attacks against uh, different population centers in West Virginia. I, I, I fiddled around with a lot of stuff on the campaign preps. I would never, I would never suggest that I did anything right. But maybe, you know, like the monkey at a typewriter, I finally got the works of Shakespeare out. All right, we're up to 156. We are booming. I forgot what they did. They did 13,000 more. So they're going to go over 200,000 probably by 62. All right, if it's a Sitzkrieg, I'm not going to make you watch it with me or sits with me and uh, I'll bring you back in if things develop or there's anything worth mentioning. I'm pretty sure this does not meet the standard of important enough to bring you back in, but I've never judged that standard well, so I'm going to do it. The Union has launched a uh, Christmas Day siege of Fort Hyman? Hyman? I don't know. And uh, I'm going to send Bragg over there. I, I hesitate to send Polk because his readiness is just barely yellow. First core, 11,000. Polk will have 18,000 plus the fort. Eh, I feel like if Polk can't do it, or Brad can't do it, eh, I don't know. We'll, see. We'll, we'll just see how it goes. But that's about it. There really hasn't been much that's that's transpired in like the 10 days you haven't been here. Though, this fourth core is out and now moving on its own, which I, I find strange. Uh, I think I'm going to send, if I get some green forces over, Oh no, we lost. The hits just keep on coming. So, of course it does. Of course it does. So, that will push Bragg back to Nashville because he showed up just as the uh, fort was surrendering. Which gives me an idea. Now, I did see that we got cotton clads in here. And that's great. Oh, and now we got some more recruits. That's great too. Um... I think we got to go government funding three so that we can get Bank Act and we can get the improved credit rating. There are lots of other like very worthy policies and acts, but that seems to me we're, we're stuck at triple B minus. We're down at 200 million. They are running a budget surplus and uh, they got an extra 50,000 troops. So yeah, we got, we got to do something there panicked. All right, well, calm down. But anyways, that's that. Uh, yes, yeah, Savannah Squadron is going to get their ships, and then what I'll do is once these guys get out, we'll build a third set of nine conclads. Here, we don't need you anymore. Seven, uh, eight is, well, yeah, eight is fine. And so we'll, we'll put them in there, and then, whoops, forgot to actually do it. Then we'll actually build them. And try not to forget. And uh, we'll probably dole those out between repairing these two fleets, the Savannah Squadron and New Orleans Squadron, as they advance north and try to lift the blockade. And then also sending them in the interior. There's a lot they can do in and around Tennessee. 
up here and also down here if if that's where it ends up going so keep an eye out for that speed things up a bit I don't know there's too much that's real hot there I'm gonna try to have Garnett get his readiness up and then recruit Don't like that the fourth core is there. Hamptons is almost ready. Beauregard is totally ready. So I'm going to send Beauregard in first. And uh, I don't see any reason to give them an advantage. So we'll, we'll definitely bring the other army over. I don't think our North Carolina... Well, well... No, they're not ready to go. But, uh, we can move that Stuart over there. And we just finished something. I did not read it. Monthly intelligence report. Wow, 22,000 more men. And they did propaganda. And they did print notes, too. And notice that, really, print notes didn't hurt them on the national morale side. It was 91 or so. I think it's gone down to 90. I mean, that might that also might be for other reasons, but it wasn't a five-point drop, which for some reason I thought it was. But th that's actually, that's not how it works. Uh, or is it? I, I get that, and I get the war bonds confused. Yeah, so it lowers public wealth by 10%, and then public wealth lowers, I thought it was national support. So at... <laughs> As I say it, you know, it's it's not bad if you're thinking a, a, a long war scenario, which I wasn't thinking based on all the past campaigns I've done. But <laughs> I'm now thinking maybe I should have done that. Uh, farm mechanization is one we're waiting for with ag. I don't know, man. I mean, we still don't have... Uh, actually, 68,000 is quite a bit. 68,000 is quite a bit. A $200 million deficit is also quite a bit. All right, Magruder's almost where I want him. Oh, I remember what I was looking for. Weapons are delivered. So the Jocelyns are done. Uh, probably that means it's time for uh, more Jocelyns, right? I just don't feel like paying out the 21 million right now. So we'll do 10,000 more of those. Oh, I didn't even know the Maynards were done. So that'll be 30,000 more and a bunch more debt. Uh, okay, we can't make those. I know that. But before the, the, the spring offensives probably come from the other side, we'll uh, try to make sure we re-equip everyone. A little surprised they're that unready, but then again, yeah, I guess one of their divisions hasn't even formed, so not a big deal. I'm a little worried that my national morale is kind of just taking off. I'm going to figure out why. So in total, we've gone down. So it's really private wealth that is keeping us up. Right, The loss of West Virginia isn't a big deal. Uh by the way, if I take Kentucky and Missouri, they're also not big deals for the Union. It costs one or two morale for those. And that's pretty standard no matter which side I'm playing. And my rationale is that West Virginia is kind of like, meh. Whereas Kentucky and Missouri are like, meh. If you can tell, the second one was more important than the first. Sometimes it might be hard to the novice ear to hear that, but that that's what that meant. And a quick check on time tells me we are about at the one hour mark, which tells me it, it might also be time to think about getting out of here. Not that I want to leave, especially with the campaign this close, but, you know, it's... They're on the move, too? Oh, no. No, that was me. All right. I was going to say. That's uh, ambitious. Uh, I don't know. Let's, let's throw the Savannah Squadron in against the Atlantic Blockading Squadron. And if there's anything left that needs to be taken care of, we'll have the New Orleans squadron come in and 
back cleanup. Civ order, no. Propaganda, maybe. Maybe. I don't know how I'm kind of pulling ahead here over the winter. How did their national morale play out? What's their story? How did they lose 10? It's through state support. And for whatever reason, their private wealth just is not holding them up as well. Uh, naval engagements kind of makes sense. I also really toned down the importance of naval engagements. So that was one of the reasons I think it might have been the primary reason why the first campaign was busted. So I think I cut it down by half or a third or two thirds or three quarters or something like that. So they, I think it was in half. Uh, granted, in in that first d run through of, of campaign 12, they were pretty big losses but it just felt like it was having a catastrophic effect on, on morale. Once morale goes down that much and drags support with it, oh no, you guys are terrible. Yeah. Call a halt to them because once the readiness is that low, it kind of spirals. All right, we have to regain our, our readiness. I don't know if we'll be able to do it out of supply here with Polk. It's weird. He has to pull... <laughs> what? What is that? His provisions base looks like it's Britain and the Gulf, and then it just comes up through all these other things. All right. We don't ask questions. We don't. Oh, we're engaged in this. Oh, no. So it told me I had eight ships, but it really meant that four of them were still coming in. Yeah, we're going to lose this. Yeah, we, we, we needed all eight. We can see what they have. That's junk. That's eh, junk, junk. Eh. Pretty junky, pretty junky, and that actually matters. Yeah, no real surprises there. The bad part of this is, well, one of the other bad parts, in addition to just losing it straight up, is that uh, I don't know what happens to the other four cottonclads, <laughs> but. They're not really going to have a home to go to. Yeah, we. so the Jackson has been disabled. It might get stolen away by the Union as well. So that is just a first class. No, that's like a third class catastrophe. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, and it disintegrated. All right, now, now it's like a second class catastrophe, right? Because it, it could actually be about land forces, which matter. And uh, it, it wasn't, but. All right, he had me so out of sorts, I was clicking the wrong buttons. All right, new, create a new fleet. I would certainly, certainly say so. And uh, we'll go with South Carolina and Charleston Harbor. We'll build it. And we will, hey, it's, it's, it's our old guy. And we'll throw in with that. Can I not? There we go. It's the guy whose uh, Savannah squadron just got decimated. He's now going to lead this one. And he's actually got seven. Oh, no, he doesn't. There we go. Now we have seven actual cotton clads in there. All right, well, that'll be online when it comes online. New Orleans Squadron is coming up. Yeah, the reconstituted Charles. Oh, I screwed that up. It was supposed to be the Savannah Squadron. I always forget that Georgia comes to the coast down here. Always forget that. But anyways, we'll we'll get in down there. Alright, they're figuring their stuff out fine. I mean North Carolina's moving up here. Now, is what's his Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, man. Just get on the railroad. It was right there. Alright, you don't need to watch this. All right, so we are just about done with this episode. What I did, uh, we finished funding three, so I chose the Bank Act next. That's going to take a little while to process. Uh, what I want to do next is create a new army, and we'll do it in Tennessee, and that's fine. We'll just uh, right off the bat transfer in Hulk's command. And 
the army of Florida. And there we go. So that's the army of Tennessee. And eventually Garnett, so Garnett just got to green on his readiness. So I figured, all right, I'll give him the second division he needs. So that's coming along. It's going to take a while. It'll probably be basically to the end of, or the, the onset of the, the spring season. But he'll eventually make it over here and be tied in with them. I probably should do something similar for the West, but I haven't. Ooh, Charleston Squadron's here. Uh, yeah, we'll send them in. How many are actually here, though? Everybody's here. All right. We actually have the casemate ironclad ram in here. So hopefully this goes well. If not, we'll see who's actually there. Why can I not see it? Uh, maybe because that's Charleston and not... Oh, that was quick. We captured one. Oh, and... Oh, <laughs> Charleston Squadron is here just in the nick of time. And we got the frigate. Like the one thing in that fleet that actually mattered. Nice. So that's a little bit of payback. And we'll send New Orleans Squadron up there to follow up on that. And Charleston Squadron will shadow them. We're into February 4100. Man. Glory hallelujah, if you say so. So they're probably going to end up at like 220 or so. Once it's all said and done. I'm, for the time being, I'm holding off on moving too much. Even though I want to get in North Carolina, I want to get in Raleigh to launch an attack against the fourth quarter when the spring opens. So they've gone through funding too, which makes makes sense. Uh, let's see if there's something we can do for the Western Army out here, because these guys have just had absolutely no love. They could use their 3rd Brigade. Okay, Louisiana can give it to them. So we're going to take from Louisiana. And let's see if we can get them a little bit more. We may have to go... A bit off. Oh, no, we could draw from Missouri and... I, I would take from Mississippi. All right, we can do that. And we'll do ba 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 ba. What did I say, Missouri? Sure. There you are. Do we have a third? Eh, I'll save that Maryland brigade for back east. Uh, ba 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 ba. Virginia back east. Cuba though. We 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 can draw from Cuba. That's fine. And we'll give them green for. We'll give them Tuscaloosa for whatever reason. And then a battery, or a battalion in the south, right? And, uh, yeah. Uh, probably not with that, then. There we go. All right, so that takes care of McCullough. I think Price needs another brigade. Yeah. Anderson's division here needs another brigade. Actually, get them any west? Texas only has 1700. I know it's not the Texas of today. I know, I know. Mississippi. I could do an understrength battalion from Mississippi. Uh, I guess there you are. All right, and we can. It'll eventually get its size back elsewhere. All right, that makes me feel a little bit better about that. This doesn't make me feel better about anything. <laughs> and, and there's already a core here. So I feel like Tennessee is a bad place to be if uh, you have the Confederacy here. All right, so we'll do that. We'll do that. Slow this down a bit. Uh, yeah, Johnston's okay. I don't know. It's it's February. Maybe it's worth it to just move these guys now, and just eat whatever comes with the uh, attrition. I really thought taking the railroad would just save pretty much all of that, but apparently not. And I think with that, I actually am for real this time ready to be done with this episode. Why does it say scouting? 
don't need you in scouting. I need you moving. Stop scouting. Start moving. On the train, man. All right. So, anyways, they're, they're going to be there. Oh, and we have... Oh, the Battle of Wilmington. Are we going to lose our casemate, Ironclad? I guess this will be the nail... Oh, the Earl Van Dorn is about to go down. Lovell has been disabled. Have we taken... We've taken nothing out. These are steam frigates, sloops of war. I don't... I don't are there any... No! Wow, and they did not even care about that. Their condition is good. Wow. That was bad. Two, three, four. Well, we got all of our ships out. That's the good news. And we're not going that far away. I guess that's also good news. Can the Charleston Squadron... Can we do the... Uh, readiness drain thing that the AI frequently does to us. I mean, because then we didn't lose any ships, but we got to put in a bunch of damage that now we get to repair pretty easily. You can see that a number of theirs are about to go down, like the Pawnee is about to go down, the Wabash is in trouble, the Susquehanna is in trouble, Minnesota's in trouble. Yeah. So, the Zerg tactic work on... Uh, Right? Our goal is to just lift this blockade. So that is now clearing up Wilmington. And that, that is a fine place to end this episode. So it is a new campaign. It's a more competitive campaign. It's also very similar, but just more competitive, I think, than the last campaign. Uh, and uh, I'm actually really excited. The only downside to this campaign is that the Whiskey and Lemons DLC comes out by the end of the month. So I, I got to get through this, and uh, I'm, I'm not sure we're going to be able to do it. So we'll see how that goes, if that goes. But uh, this has gone better than I thought it would, despite the terrible start to this video and, and the circumstances that brought it about. I hope you enjoyed it, folks, and I hope to bring you uh, back in here for the next one.